Hello, welcome back to another edition of From the Vaults. My name is Daniel Truckee. I'm director of the Beaumere Upper Peninsula Heritage Center. And today we feature this very cool organ that for over two decades was used in K Hall Auditorium at Northern Michigan University. This electronic organ was made by the Allen Organ Company of Allentown, Pennsylvania. And the model is the B3, not to be mistaken for the B3 Hammond organ. It was made approximately in 1950, and we know this because of the last patent date stamped on the maker's tag. It was actually made in the company's factory in McGungy, Pennsylvania. The company was formed in 1937 by Jerome Markovitz, an inventor and musician. He was a pioneer in creating electronic organs that sounded like actual pipe organs, but were also less expensive and easier to install. For this reason, Allen organs were one of the most popular brands in the world with over 80,000 installations in over 70 countries and on all seven continents. Over the decades, Markovitz and his staff licensed hundreds of patents, truly leading the way in modern organ technology. Jerome's son, Steve, now owns and operates the company. Jerome was a self-taught electronic engineer with expertise in radio and vacuum tube technologies. During World War II, he was sent to Hawaii to work on advanced radar systems. Prior to the war, he solved the technical problem that hindered the production of musical sounds by electronic means, the need for stable tuning oscillators. In 1938, he was granted a U.S. patent for the stable oscillator. This technology would lead to the first fully electronic organ and the birth of the Allen Organ Company. In the early 1930s, there was only one electronic organ, the Hammond organ. It was compact and inexpensive compared to pipe organs. However, the Hammond's electric mechanical tone generation system could only create sounds appropriate for popular music. It could not produce sounds required for classical or liturgical music. Markovitz then decided to dedicate his life to producing a pipe organ sounds through electronic tone production means. Through the 1950s and 1960s, Jerome introduced numerous innovations and was granted patents that included low frequency oscillators, space discharge harmonic generators, rotatable loudspeakers with stationary baffles, circuits for tuning oscillators, chip characteristics solidifying Allen's leadership in analog organ technology. The company enjoyed significant successes with thousands of analog organ installations made worldwide. Now this particular model was installed in Kay Hall at then Northern Michigan College in approximately 1952. Here is an image from the 1953 uh, Northern Michigan College yearbook with a label that says, Robert Key de dedicates our new electronic organ. At this time, it is the only known photograph of the organ in its original location at Kay Hall. K Hall was opened in 1915, and its auditorium was the largest of any kind in the Upper Peninsula. It could hold as many as 1,500 people and easily accommodated the entire student body until the 1950s. Annual commencements were held in K Hall until 1968, when they were moved to Hedgecock Fieldhouse to accommodate all the graduates and their families. Originally, the auditorium had a large pump organ, which was probably electrically powered and served the venue well for over 30 years. Here you could see an image of the organ from not long after the auditorium was opened. Over the decades, the auditorium hosted many internationally known speakers and performers, including First Lady Eleanor Roosevelt in 1956. Mostly the auditorium was used as a venue for performances by bands, ensembles, and musicians from the college's music department, and also theater productions by students. In fact, my own mother, Suzette Gollinger, performed on the stage in 1955 in the lead role of Antigone by Sophocles. In the 1960s, a fire marshal found that the balcony was not properly secured to the south wall and could not be used. This led to the state condemning the structure which hampered the ability to get funds to improve it. In 1972, K Hall, along with the Peter White Science Building and the Lydia M. Olson Library, were torn down to make way for the Cohotis Building, which opened in 1975. At that time, the organ was put in a storage where it remained until the 2000s when it officially became part of the Bohmier Center's collection. And so that's it for this week's edition of From the Vaults. 
We hope you'll join us next week for some more cool stuff.